Hey guys, uh, welcome back to How To Clinical Research. Uh, this is the next episode of the vlog. Uh, so today we're looking at uh, some new medical offices, seeing our choices, seeing what you know makes the most sense for the price, for the space, for the location, uh, for you know the style of the building, the first impressions, all of that. Uh, so anyways, um, we're gonna take a look at the first property right now. All right, so this is the outside of the new office. Uh, that we're going to check out right now. So it's obviously a lot more professional looking, much more impressive. This is a this will make a fantastic first impression for sponsors, for patients, for uh, getting you know to working with doctors. It's a really good look to have. So I'll show you guys inside in just a second. Okay, so we're starting off in the patient waiting room. Uh, this is a great size room. It's not too big and not too small. Okay, so right here on our right is the reception area uh, with the long hallway leading down. And we're gonna start on the right-hand side of the office working our way around. So as we walk down here, plenty of storage space for file uh, paperwork and books, etc. cetera. Uh, this is the bathroom for the office. Uh, this is a great size for the office space. Uh, this is the only bathroom in the office, but it is a great addition. To what's left is a, a great size uh, room here with a fantastic view outside, uh, looking across at the other buildings. And in here, this room will be used as a conference room as there's plenty of space for a chandelier, a big table, and plenty of chairs. Okay, so as we go down, we're gonna go to our another office right here on the right-hand side. Again, fantastic view that this office has, and this is a decent size. You can fit at least two employees in here, if not maybe more. Uh, and as we go out to the right is going to be the first patient room, first of four patient rooms. Again, has a great view, great size with a sink and cabinets. And then over here are three patient rooms right next to each other. So again, they all have the same view as you're against the same wall of the office. And all the patient rooms have the sink and cabinets. Uh, right across from it is a patient room that is a little bit larger. Uh, plenty of space in here with plenty of storage space and again uh, with the sink and cabinetry. So right next to it is another patient room. This one has no windows so it's darker in here. Uh, but it is a, a good size and it has again sink and cabinets and uh, is good for privacy since, it, since there's no windows. Okay, as we go down here, we're going to go to an area which would I, which I would use as a as a lab space. So there's plenty of space here for centrifuges, fridges, freezers um, to go ahead and process all the blood samples and everything else that's going to be involved for clinical trials. Down here is more space. I'm not sure what that would be used for, but again, more storage space. Right here is another room uh, with a sink. I think I would convert this either into a lunchroom or more lab space. Uh, and of course, there's a closet there for more storage space. So again, plenty of space in this office, really more than, than what's needed. And then uh, here's another view of the waiting room. So uh, this building right behind me, right there, uh, that's the one we were just in. The first office was fantastic. You know, it, it, the issue is it's 1800 square feet and that's gonna put us out of budget for sure. But talking with the agent, he made it, he just made a good and amazing deal actually with the landlord for another unit in there for a different, a different client of his. And they were able to make a fantastic deal where they got like six months rent for free, you know, on top of improvements and everything covered for free. So that might make it affordable. If we can get something like six months for free, that might make it affordable and it could potentially work because that space is, is perfect. You have a great view, amazing space, um, everything you need you don't you don't need to change anything other than cosmetics so i like that that one a lot we are about to check out this one over here this building it's right across the street as you can tell from the other building um, it looks amazing as well so i'm excited to get in there and i'll show you guys right now okay so this is the next office this would be the waiting room it's a bit larger than the other and that door right there leads to a storage room but it's locked right now so as we go into here, we're going to go into the reception area. There's kind of this extra reception space here. Um, this can be utilized with another staff member. And then the main reception area right here with this indentation into the wall that could probably be used as uh, a storage space for some storage cabinets. Okay, so to the right, we're going to have a, a bathroom, a really you know well done bathroom, professionally made, good size. I like the tile everywhere. 
Um, this is a really well built office. You can tell the difference. Okay, so right here, um, we're gonna see another office right here. So this is a office that is a little awkwardly sized and next to this other office, which is a little awkwardly sized since they're both kind of small. I think I would combine these two offices together with maybe a glass wall going in between them. Okay, right next to it is a patient room. Uh, there's carpet in here that would need to be changed out into tile. Uh, this is a fairly big room with a sink and cabinet, so great for, for patients. And uh, right here, I think this would be utilized as kind of a lab space, along with uh, this office right here for additional lab space and storage. Uh, with the sink and outlets, you can go ahead and put freezers and centrifuges, etc. Uh, right next to it is a uh, office space. This is a little small, but a good size uh, with a great view. And then next to it is another uh, patient room uh, with a sink and cabinet here. All right, so I think this one right here is the one to go for. The style of the building is fantastic. The cosmetics inside are great. You don't need to do too much to bring it you know, modern. Um, it's mostly just paint. Uh, changing out those countertops, um, combining those two rooms into one big office slash conference room. And that's about it. I, the, the style is great. I would say this is like an A-class building. The other building back here that we saw right before this one, I'd say that's about a B-class. Both buildings are great. The The office in there, like I said, is, is a bit too large. It's going to make it a little bit too expensive. I love the layout though. It makes it very easy to, to move in and get everything going very quickly, but that one needs a lot more cosmetic work to make it look nice. This one in here uh, needs a lot less cosmetic work. It hardly needs any cosmetic work, actually. Um, and the space is, is much more manageable in terms of price. It's, it's 1,500 square feet. So that's right in the area I think that we wanna be in. It would work perfectly. I think it would keep the cost down, but I think the strategy here is to work with both. I think put in, start negotiations with both and let's see who's easier to work with and let's see what deal would be better. I think that would be the way to go. So I think we're gonna choose probably between these two buildings. I'm gonna talk to my client. We'll figure out what we wanna do. And then hopefully in the next vlog, we're negotiating and we are you know, starting to do the process of moving in. So I'll keep you guys posted on this whole thing. Stay tuned, leave comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know if you like this. Let me know if there's something I'm not showing that you would like to see. I'm trying to show all the you know important key things of finding the offices, what to look for, the good and bad, pricing, what goes into you know the strategy of selecting because it's not just price. You know the layout is really important, the location is really important, even the looks of the building is important. Like I said, because you want a good first impression. Being in buildings like this give you some clout. So there's a lot that go into the decision so let me know down below what you thought i look forward to hearing from you and stay tuned for the next vlog